Many people will ask, why is COVID really a big deal? How many people actually die from the disease and is it really an epidemic? And the answer to that is in the US currently, the case fatality rate is 1.6%. That's kind of a complex number, so I'll explain. The case fatality rate is how many people have had the disease and what percent of them have died from the disease. It doesn't take into account those who survive, have long-term effects, or permanent disability from the disease. It's purely just a death rate. So when you look in the US and we say 1.6% of people will die from the disease as a case fatality rate, that's telling you that just over one in 100 people who contract the disease will die. Compared to measles, for example, the last outbreak we had was in 1990 in Philadelphia, and it registered a 1.2% case fatality rate, which is very significant. COVID is actually higher. Another way we look at these numbers is deaths per 100,000. The CDC reports these numbers on their website, and it's a very common way to compare deaths from other diseases. For example, in the state of Florida, traffic accidents cause 14 deaths per 100,000 accidents. In the state of Florida, COVID causes 194 deaths per 100,000, so more than 10 times the deaths from all traffic accidents in the state of Florida. So really, any way you look at it, the numbers are astounding. 1% is a large section of the population. There are 330 million people living in the U.S. right now, and if 1% of them died, that's 3 million deaths. That's an unfathomable number. So COVID is a very, very serious illness.